of here. No. What do you think you're going to get breadcrumbs? What are you, a bird? No, I'm getting out of here. No, I know you kids call them croutons these days. They're just breadcrumbs. They're old and salty like me. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the most unpredictable series on the internet. Three random games. And as many of you know, the way this normally works is you have no idea what to expect when coming into one of these videos. But I'll usually have a rough idea as to what each of these games will be about. So that way I can link them together with the common theme, or at the very least have a hint as to whether or not they'll be good. But for today, I know absolutely nothing except for their names. This is called the Afternoon Spaghetti. As soon as I saw that, I thought, yeah, you know, I'm a little hungry. I could definitely go for some afternoon spaghetti right about now. Assuming I can get the Play-Doh Golem who's making it to share. Well, as weird as that may be, I think we're in the right place. I mean, it's kind of hard to get lost in this neighborhood. <laughs> Plus, what are the odds of two homes making spaghetti at the exact same time? Just when there's only one home, pretty low, I would say. Hey, I'm making spaghetti! Well, good for your terrifying ass. You do have an ass, don't you? It's hard to tell when your legs are one long, curvy Vienna sausage. <laughs> Could you pass me some cheese? Uh, okay. Is your torso made of cheese? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Do you want some sensitive nip cheese? Or maybe some smelly armpit cheese? <gasps> where is it? Yeah, where are your armpits? Or your arms? The longer I look at this, the worse it gets. <laughs> there should be some in the fridge. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, come to think of it, if I'm gonna be eating this meal, I would prefer that your drug-induced fever dream of a body not be part of it. Uh, I take back what I said. Not about your nightmare of a body, though. I mean about getting the cheese. I'll cut you a deal. I'll go get the cheese from the fridge, but you need to put on more than three noodles. <laughs> because it really feels like you're just making a small little appetizer out of the spaghetti and a main course out of the cheese getter. Plus, this house is weird. It's just a kitchen. There's no, like, living room or bedroom or bathrooms. So, what exactly is the deal? Weird. I guess we'll get the cheese and find out. Okay. Sure, yeah, I'll go get the cheese from the half toilet. Well, there's the bathroom that I was talking about, or at least some of it. For a second there, I thought he kept the cheese on the bathroom sink. I was about to peace out from this whole meal. <laughs> but nope, doesn't seem to be the case. So I guess we'll just head to the art exhibit. What the hell? Well, you're not cheese. Or at least I don't perceive you to be cheese. This is called unexpected disruption. Speaking of an unexpected disruption. Good boy, come up. There's a good boy. Hi. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. Oh, right. Yeah, I don't like art that has a title. Because it's supposed to be open to interpretation from the viewer. But when you give it a title, you're skewing people's perception before they even look at it. I wouldn't call this unexpected disruption. I would call this... Explody Kiwi. Yeah, that'd definitely stick well. Ooh, we also have a big man little head. That's a nice one. Definitely get some MS Paint vibes from that. Hey, it's someone's fridge! <laughs> and we've got our cheese. All right. Well, that was easy enough. Let me guess. This is Blue Vase? Oh, no, this one's untitled. Of course it is. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Brian. You're a little late to the party. This thing's almost as terrifying as what's making my lunch. We should have the two of them fight. It's called Perceptions of Aesthetic Form. I would have probably called it uh, Blue Man with Big Dumpy. And if you look at it just the right way, you can have somebody's nose inside that dumpy. Really sorry about that. I can understand the tears now coming from Emotional Consequences of Advanced Interhuman Communication, otherwise known as Butt Sniffing Bad. Well, it's no sniffin' blue cowboy dumpy, but credit where credit's due, three-dimensional existence on a two-dimensional plane is pretty trippy. It definitely gets you 
thinking almost as much as a tunnel through a refrigerator. Okay, maybe we should go back. I've got the cheese. Hopefully he has put on a couple more noodles. We good to go, sir, ma'am, it? <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Did you know that the back of your fridge is currently on display at a student art show somewhere on planet Earth? Because that's a whole thing. Wow, that's an extraordinarily long way to go. You're telling me, and I got the cheese, so let's eat. Where would I breathe without you? That's it? That's what this was all building to? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was kinda hoping that would be a Gouda game, but we're probably cheddar off assuming that this wasn't one of the three that I'll be playing today. Are you cool with that? Jesus Christ. Okay, no, I don't know what the fuck was that. <laughs> I'm done, it closed itself. All right then. Three random games. I never did get any of that spaghetti considering I didn't want that sleep paralysis demon to figure out where I lived. So let's move on to a game called Infinite Pizza. I could go for some infinite pizza. Jesus Christ, what is happening? What was that? I feel like my eyes just crossed inside some kind of pizza dimension. I guess I'm picking up what you're putting down. We've got an infinite pizza that we need to find the bottom of, maybe? I, I can ride the cutter. I also have a gun. Am I gonna have to defend myself from something in there? Can the pizza shoot back at me? Usually when you bite your food, it doesn't bite you back. You're gonna try to make me look stupid, are you? We'll, we'll see about that. I'm gonna turn you into poop, lickety split. Just you wait, only one of us is gonna get past through a butthole today and it's not gonna be me. I should probably watch out for the tomatoes. That's probably what the gun is for, come to think of it. I died on a can of sauce. That is some delicious irony. It might be that I can't aim. And I, I don't mean that personally, man. I literally can't turn my head and aim. I need to get behind the thing as if I'm gonna drive into it and then shoot. Oh man, this really trips with your eyes. <laughs> I don't like this one bit. Okay, you know what? I take it back. We are going to count the last game as half a game. We'll count this as half a game. And I'll try to see how much sauce I can collect in three more tries. Attempt number one. Hit me with that sauce. Uh, figuratively, not literally. I think I'm going to try to avoid shooting the tomatoes if I can. Like, if I could just dodge them, then that's better. Because then I don't need to worry about the bullet coming back and hitting me. Holy crap, why is it getting so tight in here? There we go, we got one sauce. That's a, a start, maybe? Oh my god, my eyes! I can guarantee YouTube's compression is going to have a shit fit with all this pizza. Oh no, no, the tomatoes! I missed the sauce! I'm speeding up somehow! Thank you for putting me out of my misery. Wow, did I, I get two cans there? Awesome. 22,000 distance, two cans of sauce. That's the number to beat. <laughs> Something tells me I am not gonna come anywhere close. I think shooting may actually slow me down a little bit, which is advantageous when you're having a hard time figuring out where you're going. Like, what was somebody smoking? when they came up with this nonsense. Okay, well that's a write-off. Even though I got three sauces that time, at half the distance. Last try. Fun fact, this game is VR compatible. And all I could say is, thank God I'm not doing VR at the moment. <laughs> because this would not be a fun time in the slightest, like just perpetually falling. <laughs> Except the falling makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go, reload, shoot, good. Great, wonderful, we got four. So long as we can beat our distance, this will be a record. I'm feeling pretty good about this so long as the tomatoes stop. Oh, I am going at the speed of light. It's so fast. No, no bullets, no bullets, we're good, we're great. We're going for 30. Is that 30? 
Did I beat 22? That's really all I care about. 25 with four sauces. Thank you, I retire champion. Three random games. Next up, we have a game called Lord of the Isle because I'm feeling old and cranky and if I can't eat pizza or spaghetti, then nobody should be able to eat anything at all. I am the Lord of the Isle. None shall pass. I must block the passers-by until they go back from whence they came. I could shuffle around with Wazd. All right. Now we just need some whippersnappers to make a move so I can send you back from whence you came. Do you know what whence you came means? Go on, get out of here, you damn kids with your Snapchat and your ticker talks. Get out of here, no. What do you think you're gonna get breadcrumbs? What are you, a bird? No, I'm getting out of here. No, I know you kids call them croutons these days. They're just breadcrumbs. They're old and salty like me. That's right. Get the hell out of here. All right, number one victory royale. Got a high score of 10,000 faceless ghosts. Who are these faceless ghosts trying to pass through my lands? I shall use my powers to smite them. I could actually smite with space? Okay, <laughs> smite, smite you. Oh, okay, and then uh, I could I could back it up. Yeah, you like that? You don't want to touch this old booty, do you? Ah, newfangled hipster dipsters. <laughs> It's a good one, old guy, you got this. My aisle. Oh, you will not be getting any cat food. Whiskers will starve. Back it up, back it up. Oh, I got you fooled, tricked you. 360 no scope, back off. This may be one of the dumbest games I've ever played. No, 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 I don't think, oh, you've let someone slip past. Do I go after her? No, no, it's a failure. All the hopes. Dreams and the friends of your younger days eventually pass you by. Alas, you cannot stop the passage of time, my old friends. I wonder if I can actually win. I gotta try, right? You shall not pass. <laughs> Do you get that reference? It's from Lord of the Kings. It was a great book. I read it when it was published in the 50s. The ninth, the 1950s, not the 1850s. Oh, you think you're so clever. Prep the defenses. I'll build my castle walls to keep everyone out. Oh. I swear on my new hip, if you don't all get out of here, I'll poop my pants right here in the middle of the aisle. See how you like cleaning that up? Yeah, that's what I thought. Barbarians at the gate. All these hordes seeking passage have come to taunt my weary bones. Oh crap, they're coming and I ruined my defenses. <laughs> no, go back from whence you came. Have you figured out whence? Dictionaries aren't in this aisle. Oh crap. <laughs> no, this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> There's so many of them. <laughs> no, go on. Okay, those defenses are holding up. They're doing pretty well. I, I might be able to just Work this crowd, there we go. No, 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 back it up. Back it up, don't make me poop myself. I'll do it. So help me Christ, I'll do it. Just you wait and see. <laughs> Is anybody getting tired of this voice yet? Yes, retreat, retreat, that's right, you best retreat. Yeah, there we go, you shall not pass. <laughs> Get it, Lord of the Isles, it's a good reference. <laughs> Come on. There we go. There we go. That's the good stuff. Now let's get these fortifications set back up. Get everything all lined up. How are we doing? We got another wave coming. Oh, oh the walls are in shambles. I'll need some reinforcements. Who can I count on but myself? <laughs> I got little Hermes. I saw Piccolo do this move one time. Real fancy stuff. Stay back. I'll blow up the moon just like Piccolo did too. Just you wait. No, oh, oh, this is really difficult to control actually. I have no idea what is happening right now. Respect the elderly, all of us. Oh, it's getting hard to keep track of who's who and where people are supposed to go. No, 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 we, we, we got some spillage. Just a little bit of leakage and I'm not talking about my bunghole. No, sir. Oh, wait, they gave up. We, we had some giver uppers. So hopefully, if, if we could just make them continue to give up, let somebody slip by. 
I'll never live this down. Or at least for a, a couple of weeks. Then I'll die. Three random games. Our final game for today is called A Firm Handshake, which is kind of fantasy fulfillment at this point. You know, it's been a real long time since any of us have been able to interact with strangers. <laughs> like, I can't even remember the last time I shook somebody's hand. So we're going to go ahead and give this guy a nice firm handshake. Put her there, pal. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you see, that is a very open-handed shake, but I'll take it. Nothing is more disappointing than a limp dick handshake. When somebody gives you their hand and it's just, ah, oh, it drives me crazy. There's no reason that you can't squeeze a guy's palm, give him a couple good pumps, and say, oh, I like the look of your suit. What are you doing? Are you looking at the tag on my suit? Yeah, I got it at Walmart, okay? You don't need to make fun. Oh, he's following me all of a sudden. Did I just introduce myself or, or seal some kind of business deal? Uh, excuse me, sir. I may have just either acquired a, a stalker or a significant position in stocks or stalkers. All right, then. Let's just roll out, squad. <laughs> this is uh, weird, to say the least. Hello there, good sir. Firm handshakes. Firm handshakes. There we go. Nice dumpy. Okay, head to the back of the line. Wonderful. We're just gonna conga our way around this tanned world and see if we can continue to uh, acquire more assets. Or asses, you know, whatever it takes. Oh, that, that's not great. That was like a, a checking your wrist for a knife kind of handshake. We don't trust the guy in the back. Everybody tighten up those sphincters. You never know what he's gonna do. We're leaving him behind. The longer this goes on for, the more it feels like a cross between a Mr. Bean episode and the Twilight Zone. <laughs> like, am I forming some kind of firm handshake cult? The weird little pitter-patter of their loafers is just super off-putting. Oh, that's a whole lot more pitter-patter all of a sudden. Uh, oh. Of course. To make these firm handshakes quite a bit more difficult now, aren't you? Why is there sumo traffic? Well, fortunately, I am a real go-getter, and if I want to push through, then I will. Here we go. Only got to do that three more times, and I will be in the palm of your hand shortly, sir. Here we go. That is not a flattering angle for a sumo. <laughs> Something about that wedgie is just... Bleh. I really don't want to know what happens if one of these guys carries me off, so I'm just going to keep going with the flow of the sumo, so long as I build up momentum alongside them, and then kind of squeak on through. Yes, yes, please, take my hand, take, take my hand. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, sorry what I said about your butts. I, I, I admire the thickness. It's a whole lot of effort, I'm sure. Anyway... Can I maybe get back to shaking hands and taking names? Yeah, there we go. Uh, excuse me. No. What? Is this what Jesus felt like when Judas betrayed him? <laughs> excuse me. Am I being left out of the cult all of a sudden? Because uh, I kind of started the whole deal. I would really appreciate if... Oh, that's a problem. Fine, you know what? Screw you two. There are plenty more brown-suited fish in the sea. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some new friends. Find some new followers. No, no. I wash my hands, I swear. You know, every now and then. Sometimes, I mean, not after I pee, but like, I, I don't even touch my birds much. Come on, why, why you like this? Oh my god, this is an absolute nightmare. No, I, it, it can't go down like this. I will find the perfect match. I, I will find my dream guy. Or not. I guess everybody hates me all of a sudden. Am I just gonna die poor and friendless? Is, is nobody gonna make deals with me? Is nobody gonna join my cult? Oh, it literally was a nightmare. Oh, okay. Please shake my hand. Please? Oh, yeah, there we go. <gasps> A nice firm handshake. That it? I think that was it, but it's awful hard to tell. Oh boy. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm not part of this anymore. <laughs> you can all wander around and shake amongst one another. I really started a movement here today. I feel good about this. Three random games. All right, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Three Random Games, guys. And I really do enjoy going into episodes like this largely blind. It's a little bit different. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video and leave recommendations in the comments. It's really hard to find games that are only like five to 10 minutes long. So your help is very much what's gonna make more episodes. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.